Hello everyone. Uh, we are going to discuss 3 raised to k factorial design. In 3 raised to k factorial design, in general, we have k factors each at 3 levels. In 2 level factorial design, we assume that a response varies linearly with the change in the level of the factor. But if one suspects that there is curvature in the response as the level of the factor changes, then one must adopt 3 level factorial design. To understand this, uh, let us consider an arbitrary example where factor A is at three levels, say 0, 1 and 2. Assume that when factor A is at low level, the response is 10 and we denote this by A0 is equal to 10. And when the response is at intermediate level, say the response is 20 and we denote this by A1 is equal to 20 and we now join this line. If the response varies linearly with the change in the level of the factor, then if we change the level of A from 1 to 2, then again the response will vary linearly and the change in the response will again be 10 and the response at high level of A will be 30. As the response varies linearly, effect of factor A is simply the response at higher level of a, a minus the response at low level of A. The effect of A is equal to response at higher level of A minus response at low level of A which is equal to 20 and this effect is called linear effect of the factor A. But what if the response does not vary linearly and there is curvature in the response? Let us say this point is a2 prime is equal to 45. Then the linear effect will still be equal to the response at high level minus the response at low level which will be equal to 35. But what about this extra effect added in the response due to the curvature? This extra effect in the response is actually called the quadratic effect and this we can compute as a2 prime minus a2. But if there is curvature then we would not observe the response a2 and we want to get rid of this a2 in the formula. Therefore a2 prime minus a2 we can write as a2 prime minus a1 minus a2 minus a1 we are just adding and subtracting a1 now if you notice a2 minus a1 is equal to a1 minus a0 therefore in three level factorial design if a0 a1 and a2 represent the response made at low level of a intermediate level of a and high level of factor a the linear effect of a denoted by AL is given by the response at high level of A minus response at low level of A and the quadratic effect of A is given by A2 minus A1 minus A1 minus A0 and this simplifies to A2 minus 2A1 plus A0. But we know in factorial design we do not make observations at different levels of one factor by ignoring the different levels of the other factor. That is the observations are made at various treatment combinations. To understand the various treatment combination let us take a special case of 3 level factorial design when k equal to 2 that is 3 raised to 2 factorial design. In 3 raised to 2 factorial design, we have two factors A and B and each of the factors are at three levels. These levels are usually denoted by the symbols 0, 1, 2 or minus 1, 0, 1. We will use the symbol 0, 1, 2 to denote the various treatment combinations of A and B. Since A and B both are at three levels. This produces nine treatment combinations in which both factor could be at low level or factor A could be at intermediate level and factor B at low level or factor A at high level, factor B at 
लो लेवल और फैक्टर ए एट लो लेवल एंड बी एट इंटरमीडिएट लेवल बोथ एट इंटरमीडिएट लेवल एंड फैक्टर ए एट हाई लेवल फैक्टर बी एट इंटरमीडिएट लेवल ए एट लो बी एट हाई ए एट इंटरमीडिएट बी एट हाई बोथ एट हाई दिस इज कॉल्ड डिजिटल नोटेशन ऑफ द ट्रीटमेंट कॉम्बिनेशन we can denote these treatment combination using lower case latin letters as well for example 00, 0 is denoted by 1 10 1 is denoted by a 20 0 is denoted by a square 01 0 is denoted by b similarly others as ab a square b b square ab square and a square b square note that if the factor is at low level then latin letter is absent while if the factor is at intermediate level then the latin letter is present with index 1 and if the factor is present at high level then latin letter is present with index 2 therefore if you see in this treatment combination factor a is present at high level and factor b at intermediate level and the corresponding treatment combination is a square b that is latin letter a with index 2 and b with index 1 0 0 both the factors are at low level therefore this is denoted by 1 the order in which these treatment combinations are arranged is also called standard order or yates order to understand the pattern of the arrangement of these treatment combination if you look first we introduce the treatment combination for which both the factors are at low level then a is introduced and then a square when we introduce b and multiply this b with a and a square we get ab and a square b then we introduce b square and multiplied with a and a square we get ab square and a square b square to understand the standard order let us discuss the treatment combinations for 3 raised to 3 design we will be having three factors a b c each at three levels the treatment combinations will be 1 a a square b a b a square b then b square a b square a square b square now i introduce c and this c i will multiply by all the treatment combinations i have introduced before except one and the new treatment combinations constructed are ac a square c bc abc a square bc b square c ab square c a square b square c now i introduce c square which i will multiply with all these treatment combinations to produce the remaining treatment combinations which are ac square a square c square bc square abc square a square b c square b square c square a b square c square and a square b square c square this way we have listed all the 27 treatment combinations of a 3 raised to 3 factorial design these treatment combinations also denote the sum of all the observations made at the same treatment combination for example c also denotes the sum of all the observations which is made at the treatment combination c a square also denote the sum of all the observations which are made at the treatment combination a square that is when the factor was a was at high level and factor b and c both were at low level now these yields or treatment combinations can be used to construct the various main effects and interaction effects for three level factorial design that we will discuss in our next video